Are you an ear nibbler? Now be honest. Are you the one who is unable to resist the sweet chocolate Easter bunny and sneaks a bite off its ear? Full confession. I'm not. Of course, I like chocolate, but I can resist the urge to nibble on the little bunny ears. No, I wait until someone else takes a bite and then I eat the rest. The sweet chocolate bunnies are made to be irresistible, and this time of year, they're everywhere. Now, most people wouldn't consider that a serious enough topic for a Sunday struggle posting on an American missionary. But let's think about the power of cravings. For some people, money means everything. Their whole heart and soul is focused on obtaining it. For others, sex is a seemingly uncontrollable urge and overwhelming desire even more powerful than the lust for money. Yet for many others who have gained control over those desires, sweets like a chocolate Easter bunny are their master. One nibble turns into eating the whole thing and throwing away the package hoping no one will notice. Whichever desire captures your heart, there is something better, far better, the Word of God. After his description of God's Word in Psalms 19 verses 7 through 9, David said, The Lord's words are more desirable than gold, even the finest gold. They are sweeter than honey, even honey dripping from the comb in verse 10. When we fill our minds with his Word, we become filled with something better than the rush of pleasure from sugar flooding our system. We luxuriate in its warnings and long for the reward of pleasing him by keeping his word. We rejoice in the forgiveness it offers to those who let it rule in their lives. Verses 11 through 13. David ends this beautiful psalm with an urgent request. May the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be pleasing to you, O Lord, my rock and my redeemer. Verse 14. What are you craving? Is it the chocolate Easter Bunny? Is it those little Reese's peanut butter and chocolate eggs? Or is it something far more destructive and deadly? If you're struggling with any addiction, even something as sweet as chocolate, put down the bunny and pick up the Bible. Let it fill your heart with a craving for fellowship with God until nothing else will satisfy your soul's longing. Thank you for watching this Sunday Struggles edition of Morning Minutes in the Bible on an American Missionary. Until next time, this is James McClenney hoping you have a great day.